in Junior Kickstart last year. Yes, this, this machine is slightly, slightly larger than the other one. This is 100cc and it has larger diameter wheels. So he should possibly make a good attempt at these rocks. There you see. Nice. Oh! Never mind, you can put the feet down there, so it's all right. That's clear. Now, can he do the same? Has Jeff Wright on this? No, he can't. His feet are down. 20 second penalty on that one. He's. Oh! Just didn't have the control as he came over the top and went right over the top himself, right over the front of the handlebars. Not a lot of time passed. He's got the 20-second penalty. He came through the gate. I don't think he's got a penalty. I don't think that. he had a penalty, no, because he was out of the uh, section. 20 seconds against him and not a very long elapsed time. And ridden well round the top there. So he's still in with a very good chance in spite of that fall. And he's deciding to go a different way. Yes, he's taking the uh, log weed. Have to stay inside those white markers. No feet may go down. And he's controlled it very well. The flag's up. Very unfortunate. Just caught the marker. He was very unlucky with that. So he's got 40 seconds to add to this. 40 to add makes 130.5, but that could put him in the frame. This youngster, 12 years old, is called Gary Wynn. He comes from Doncaster in South Yorkshire. He's been riding motorbikes for three years. They all start very young. Well, you have to to reach this standard for the class of 12. Yes, what a standard. To be riding the adult section in just a matter of years is incredible. Uh, nicely through the rock run. And we get another clear on this log cross. No, he's out of the section, unfortunately. He came out on the white there, so he'll have a 20-second penalty on that. I think a lot of these sections are very frightening. Yeah, he's got a 20-second penalty there, again, for getting his feet down. But he's attempted that. He doesn't have to go over there again. He doesn't wish. He could have opted out. Yes, that's the way, as long as he comes over the last pyramid. He admits to being terribly nervous before the start of uh, major trials like this. And I must say, on the starting line, he did look a very bit terrified of it. But he rides with plenty of confidence. Smallest engine of all the bikes in the tournament. This, this is a Fantic Pathfinder 75. <laughs> yes, he's going the uh, other way around. And he's cleaned that section. Very good. So, so far, I make it he's got 40 against him. It's not going to be enough. 99.8 plus 40 makes 139.8. It won't do. This young lad on one of the bigger bikes, Christopher Horseman, 12 years old. Comes from Richmond in North Yorkshire. This is an ISL Jet 100. This is a machine out of Italy again. And uh, I think this is the only one of its type for these small boards. Well, he managed he to get saw then the he made those rocks look very easy. He's had no major wins in the past 12 months. Very average results, he says himself. He admits that. <laughs> but he uh, reckons it was the most enjoyable years trialling. He's got to pick up his penalty on that. We've only had Jeff Wright going clean on that, and unfortunately he made a mistake on the rock run, otherwise his time would have been remarkable. Someone on the course, course there, which is uh, very dangerous. He must have had good results. And his feet down there, so he'll get penalty for that. Yes, uh, to, to qualify for this, as you so rightly say, Mick, uh, that is a good result. He does no major win. just going to make this and he isn't no that was rather unfortunate yeah. what's that wrong gear Mick no I, I, I tend to think that uh, 
the engine hadn't cleared itself, the fuel from it's the carburetor. Terrible position. I think there's two rich. And start himself up, and it looks and it, like and it hadn't. Uh, he can't get his. And it hadn't cleared from coming out of the water. You it's saw all that bellowing of smoke know. coming out of the back. Yeah. Well, he's going to be out of it. He's got 40 seconds against him now. The time he needed to beat to get into the final was 130.5. He certainly can't do that. So, unfortunately, we'll have to leave Chris Horseman there, stuck at the top of the hill. And so that means that with the first junior section heat completed, two go through to the final. Jeff Wright from Rayleigh in Essex with 113.7 seconds, just the one penalty there. That really was a remarkably good ride. And in second place in the heat, we have James Bentley, who qualified for the final last year with 130.5. They go through. Well, if anything was going to cause these youngsters problems, I'd have taken bets that it was going to be the big logs. And you saw how well they managed to ride over those. So we have two finalists from each of the divisions already through. Join us, we hope, for the next Junior Kickstart, when we'll find four more. again and I'd like to say welcome to a warm, sunny and dry Eastern Neston Park. Well that's what I'd like to say but unfortunately I can't because as I'm sure you can see the weather here is pretty appalling. We've had an awful lot of rain, the wind's lashing around and it's pretty cold as well. And it's going to have a devastating effect we think on this final of the 1985 Lombard Tristy Kickstart Championship. For instance, an obstacle like this which in the dry shouldn't pose any problem, a flat back where they're supposed to ride up, touch a wheel, turn and come back again. Now that's very slippery, a little bit of a lottery. Also, the ground under my feet, pretty nasty, very sticky, that's going to stick to the tyres. We've got a traffic jam over here, which in the dry really shouldn't create any problems for the riders, but in the wet, well, I'll ask my co-commentator, Jack Stites, to come in and join me, because it's going to make it a bit of a lottery, isn't it, Jack? Oh, yes, this mud is terrible. It gets in the tyres, it gets everywhere. Is there any advantage to having the different kinds of bikes uh, that they're going to be riding in this. One bike have an advantage over another? Well, every, every bike is designed to be able to do this, you know, and it's up to the rider. Um, the Honda has come out with a motor which they use, it's a four-stroke motor, and it's, everyone believes it gets better traction in conditions like this. And we've got some in the final? Three of them. Three of them. We've also got three British riders in the final. That's good news, but it is an international final. Two Belgians, three Brits, and one Swede. Let's have a word or two about some of the riders, because first of all, uh, we've got Eric Lejeune, the youngest brother of mm -hmm. the Lejeune clan. Now, he's here, he's made the final for the first time. Bit of a surprise. No, not really. He's been riding all the world rounds. Um, he's quite aggressive, and being with his brother, he's, he has to learn quite a bit. Yeah. And then we've got uh, the Swede, Johnny Anderson, the first time at Kickstart, and he's made the final. Right, he, he's also doing all the world rounds, and also an aggressive rider, and quite capable. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, the British riders. There's uh, one surprise package there. Young Jeremy Cragg, just 17 years old, winner of Junior Kickstart in 1983, and he made the final, he had a clear round in one direction. Yes, he, I mean, he, he was a surprise, and he was quite good. Um, just like all the Britain riders, they're, they're known all over the world for being the best in slimy conditions, in muddy conditions. Well, it might suit them. What about uh, John Lampkin, defending champion? Who's here? Yes. Well, I mean, we saw John last year and plus in the heats, and we know he's about the best. Well, Steve Saunders, of course, uh, currently leading the British Championship. He's got to be in with a very good chance. Right, and Steve, you know, I've known him through the years, and he's always impressed me as being really the best in the world in the slippery conditions. Well, look forward to seeing that prediction come yes. true. But of course, they've all got to go against the great Eddie Lejeune. He's never won this championship. I can't really believe that he hasn't because he's got to be just about the finest trials rider around. He's here again. You raise his chances? Well, I mean, you've seen Eddie ride. He's also on one of the Hondas with four-stroke power. And it's, it's up to him, isn't it? Well, it's his younger brother, Eric, on the start line who's got to get this final underway. He'll be setting the standard. Nick Britton, the promoter, starts him off the final is on, and the first obstacle, well, it's the motorway jam. Yeah, I don't think we can say how slippery that is, but he's just really easy on the throttle, done very well. Now he comes to that flat back tipper. Once again, you need to be nice and straight. And foot down there. So, so you can see there, he just puts a little throttle.